Here we're going to start with a data set that we will call pData. Within the data, you can make row sets and column sets. So for example, if you want to make a column set for time, just click on the column number, right click and select create column range. We'll call this time. And if we now then click on this column set, only the information tied to the column range is displayed. Going back to the main data table, we can create new column ranges. For example, sensory measurements span from P flavor to texture. So we choose this range by clicking on texture, highlighting, and then we right click to define this area as sensory measurements. At the end of a data table, there are chemical measurements, so we again shift click, highlight the area, and then click right click to create a new column range, which we will call chemical. Within our sensory measurements, it has been predefined that the first six variables are most important. So we can select the first six columns from P flavor to hardness. With this selection, we can create a new column range called important sensory. Finally, if we go back to our data, we want to define the time variable as a category variable so that we can color samples based on five different groups of time points. To do this, we select the time column right click and press change data type followed by category thus we see in the data table that we have our ca time category variable and have set up the different column sets a particular column range can be defined as spectra so that the default plots resulting from analyses are appropriate for spectral data Convert a variable type, for example from numeric to category, by right-clicking and selecting Convert Data. To fill the same value into multiple cells, right-click and use the Fill function. From the Edit menu, use the Group Rows function to create row sets from category variables. After importing and organizing your data, you are ready to start converting it into useful information.